I'm Drew Fall, and here's five steps to get you a five on AP Physics. A lot of my friends asked me for help in physics, and over 50% of students failed the Physics 1 exam in 2024, so I'm making this video for them, and also so I can get monetized soon. So please like, comment. Step one, get an AP review book. Now, I'm not saying to get one in like April before the AP exam, I'm saying to get one like now. The one I have is this cool Barron's AP book that covers both MEC and e &M. but if you just want one for your specific class, then just search on like Amazon and you'll find it. Or use Team. Step 2. Watch YouTube videos. The problem that I had last year is that I would see my teacher do an example on the board and it would seem really easy because it would take him like a minute to do it. And so if he can do it, I can do it. Just learning in class is not enough for you to fully understand and absorb the concept. So this is how I usually did the homework. 1. Attempt the homework. 2. Watch your game chemistry tutor because I don't know what to do. 3. Attempt the homework again. 4. Watch your game chemistry tutor again because I don't know what to do. And that's perfectly okay. For me, videos help me recall what I learned in class and sometimes help me even learn more so I could study better. You can even use online physics AIs to help you with problems too. But just don't use ChatGPT, they will 100% get it wrong. But my two recommendations for videos are going to be Organic Chemistry Tutor and Colbert Physics because that's my actual physics teacher's YouTube channel and he's just a great guy, man. Like, he even uses the intro that I made for him. Step 3. Find practice problem. This is the most important thing for physics. If you don't practice, then you're gonna lose. That's just as how it is. Except if you're Asian. Because like my Asian friend who sat next to me, uh, he wouldn't study for tests and he still get like a 95. While I'm stuck with my curved 80, which was a 54. Anyways, there's tons of resources you can find online. I linked a few big physics PDFs in the description, which have like Einstein on the cover, so it's probably good. The answers are kind of brief, so you can just ask your teacher if you need help. And there's two reasons why practice problems are important to you. One, you're bad. Two, maybe you do so many problems, your teacher uses some of them on the test. Coming back to the first point, I'm saying you're bad at physics because you suck. Everyone sucks in the beginning. You're going to make stupid mistakes constantly, but as you keep going on, you become less stupid. Practice problems help you become less stupid faster, so you'll score better on tests. Step four. Don't fall behind. The most important unit for at least mech and physics one is going to be the second unit, forces. If you don't understand this unit, there's going to be a snowball effect because the units after this build onto the concepts from this unit. So just do whatever you can to actually learn the concepts in the forces unit. The class average for the forces test at my school was like a 40% and the tests are multiple choice. And if you guess on every question, the minimum score should be a 20%, but someone got an 8% and that's that skill. It's crucial that you don't fall behind. So like get notes from a friend, watch videos, do Khan Academy or practice problems or something so you just aren't behind everyone else. And step five, I don't have a step five. I just thought uh, five steps for five sounded cool. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys do well now. Uh, see ya.